Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I made delicious pumpkin spice chocolate chip cookies and muffins actually because I had a little extra batter. Um, this is everything you're going to need. Um, if you've been liking my content, I'd love if you guys would subscribe to help the channel. And let's get into today's recipe. I just started out with two cups of flour, level cups. It's just your regular all-purpose flour. I used the biggest mixing bowl I had, so I had lots of room too. I love this bowl, it's a good size. And here I used two teaspoons of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. I just roughly measure everything, but you guys can use actual measuring cups and spoons. Um, this is cinnamon, ground cinnamon I added, two teaspoons of that. Some clove and then just some all pumpkin spice I had. Salt to taste. And then I added half a cup of the white sugar and half a cup of the brown sugar. I find it adds a little something extra. I love using brown sugar when I can. It just tastes better to me. And then vanilla extract. I just three pour for that. It tastes so good. One large egg. And then I went ahead and opened my pumpkin. It's just pure pumpkin. I had got the organic kind. One can of that I added. And I ended up just using this whole bag of chocolate chips because I was only going to have a few left over. So I just dumped it all in. And then I went ahead and mixed all this. I just kept mixing. It's hard to combine the flour a little bit in the bottom. I found it settled, but just keep mixing and it all comes together. You didn't need a hand mixer for this or anything. Just, just like this is good. This is a great recipe for any time of year. I know it's kind of fally, but good in the summer, spring, whenever. I absolutely love making these. It comes together quite quickly. Even the batter smells really good. And then I just use parchment paper on cookie sheets. And I love it. I got this new um, scoop, cookie scoop, and it's like perfect. It makes them the right size every time, keeps them all the same size, so they cook evenly. Definitely suggest picking up a cookie scoop if you don't already have one. I should have got one a long time ago. And then I needed a second cookie tray just because I had so much batter. And this doesn't take long in the oven either. I did it at 350 for about 15 minutes, 12, 15 minutes. I just kept checking with a toothpick to see when it came out clean from the inside of the cookie. And then I still had leftover dough and batter, so I added it to the muffin tray. I ended up with six muffins as well. And I just left the muffins in a little bit longer than the cookies to bake, um, but they turned out great too. And there they go in the oven at 350. And there we go. There's the cookies all done. They raised nice and high, so they were nice and fluffy. And they were finished completely on the inside. Well guys, that's it for this recipe. And I hope you like and subscribe for many more to come. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see me bake or cook, just add it in the comments and I definitely do that. Thanks guys.